people are dying with heart attack in the gym uh, and right after any report that comes out my inbox gets flooded I said dr pal uh, you said to work out what is this it's better that i don't do anything yeah yeah what is your take how do you you i'm pretty sure you've been asked all the questions so many yes. times so it's largely ignorance and people don't look at a bigger picture people mm. don't look at the statistics mm. so fact is that in india roughly 20 to 30 lakh people die of heart attack every day uh. which means on a given day you have at least 6000 to 8000 people dying of heart attacks mm. now every day 6 to 8000 people who are dying of heart attack what are the top reasons as per who obesity lack of physical activity alcohol tobacco mm. and smoking mm. and then you have stress and air pollution family history right mm. but top reasons are sedentary lifestyle obesity mm. smoking mm. drinking mm. tobacco mm. right so 6 to 8000 people are dying because of that but one fine day one person dies of heart attack and you are going to blame exercise how stupid is that mm. so every day 6 to 8000 people are dying mm. and people are ignoring that media is not picking on that the media is picking on there were six doctors who died out of which one played tennis i mean where's the correlation he played tennis so what we have already established that sports is not necessarily healthy for you you have to be healthy enough to play a sport oh, uh-huh. and health is much more health is motion nutrition hydration and rest mm, mm. if you're missing out of uh, missing out on any of those things you're not healthy mm. right so i think it's largely people who have some sort of a uh, bias mm. against exercising or people who are lazy mm. they typically get uh, use these things as a trap to confuse others uh-huh. also for example if i'm a lazy guy who loves eating and drinking and i do all that shit if somebody tells me hey why don't you do something about your health he's like hey look at that healthy person he died mm-hmm. that's why i'm not going to the gym so uh-huh. it's more like an excuse for self mm-hmm. because if i really was invested in it i'd research i'd look at the statistics i'll find out the reason for death mm-hmm. now out of the seven odd cases um that happened last year mm-hmm. what did we find out the history were they smoking i can for sure say that some of them were very heavy smokers mm. were they drinking absolutely bollywood is known for parties stress levels right? stress levels mm. sleeping enough family history people are trying to set examples that hey i work um 16 to 20 hours a day i sleep for f- 4 hours there's nothing to be proud of <laughs> sleep chronic sleep deprivation correct. is linked to chronic diseases correct we've seen that the mm. sleep institute says hey, you have to sleep for at least 7 to 8 hours yeah. every day mm. if you are athletic maybe 8 to 9 hours mm-hmm. how many people are following these guidelines mm-hmm. so i'm saying all of these things and all you do is blame going to the gym mm-hmm. that's so stupid how about being fit during exertion right is there a real concern where you know you maybe there is underlying coronary artery disease and yes. you are working out while yeah. you are exerting you're exerting too much yeah. that the heart vasculature is not able to compromise is that a concern at all so if you are lifting weights mm. there's very there's almost there's no chance that you are dying because of lifting weights uh-huh. Uh-huh. usually people who die in the gym die on treadmills treadmills yes mm. so again that's why it's very important for people to understand that exercise is not one thing exercise is also depends on what kind of exercise you are doing mm. right so if you are doing cardio that's a different exercise if you are mm. walking that's a different exercise if you are playing a sport it's not exercise Correct. if you're doing weight training that's a different exercise mm. so you'd really come across people dying while squatting or bench pressing or lifting weights usually when people die in the gym they are either on the treadmill or doing some sort of a uh, cardio Ex- cardio, cardio exercise right so they so, have to be evaluated before or yes so if you have um let's say pre existing illnesses uh, uh. if you have some pre existing high, high issues, blood pressure yeah or heart case, issues mm-hmm. yes in that case it's always better to get a supervision mm. um get a clearance from your doctor mm. exercise in general is good for you mm. and over a period of time it has also been established that the more exercise you do the better your health gets but mm. there's a natural progression to it mm. if you have never worked in your life you go to the gym work out for 3 hours you'll die mm. but athletes in general train for 4 to 5 hours and they are perfectly fine they are some of the healthiest people on the planet right given that they control their habits after their um you know sports career a point i'm trying to make is is that just putting a blanket statement that exercise is bad for you mm. is the worst advice ever mm-hmm. that's the worst advice yeah exercise is good for you exercise is the thing that keeps you healthy mm-hmm. it's the one thing that keeps your heart healthy 
ठीक है बट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट कैन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वेर इज द प्रोग्रेशन हाउ मच एक्सरसाइज यू डेड ऑन डे वन एंड देन ट्राई इंक्रीजिंग इट फ्रॉम लेट्स ए वट एवर बाई वन परसेंट डोट सडनली गो फ्रॉम वन एक्सट्रीम टू अनदर एक्सट्रीम फर्स्ट यू आर नॉट एक्सरसाइजिंग नाउ यू एक्सरसाइजिंग फॉर थ्री आवर्स थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू स्लो एंड प्रोग्रेसिवली इंक्रीज एंड वी आर वी आर फाइनली अग्रींग and summarizing that walking is not an exercise yeah walking is good is good it's better not than an nothing. exercise uh-huh. it's good for your joints it's good for mobility it's good for energy expenditure but it's not an exercise, exercise. you still need exercise mm-hmm. so walking is good but you need to do exercise on top of walking as well super sounds good